When we do calculations in swap pricing or valuation or finance in general, we often need to measure the distance between two dates. We sometimes call that the day count fraction, or we call it the coverage of a given period between two dates, so date one, date two. And generally, we try to measure the number of days as a fraction of a standardized year. So you may ask, what is the length of a year? And we can show a few examples of the most common day count conventions. And maybe on this video, we will try to focus on the different names for essentially uh, the same. So one of the most commonly used is the actual uh, 360. It is also, also often called just uh, ACT 360 or in short just A360 or sometimes the money market convention. So those names are all equivalent for the same. Another commonly used convention is the 3360. And if you compare those two, you can see, well, they both assume that a full year is 360 days. So that's a rough approximation. And in the one case, we care about the actual number of days. And the other one, we pretend that each month have 30 days. We may also call that just plainly 30, 360, or sometimes fund basis most likely because it's used in a lot of cases for bonds. There's a slight variation on that one. There's actually a 30, 360 European version, or 30, 360 E. There's a technical minor difference between those two, but in spirit they're quite close. At other times, we look at cases where we have the actual number of days and get a bit more accurate, we actually assume that there are always 365 days in a year, which is true three quarters of the time. And then there are a few remaining ones. There's an act acts convention, sometimes called actual actual ISTA. There's also another act act. There's an act act isma. And finally, there's an act act uh, AFB. But I'll not go into the finer details, and they are different, uh, these three. 